Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to update the table of contents in the capstone template. One of the most helpful features of the template is the easily updated table of contents. For purposes of this demonstration I've assembled a skeleton template using the dissertation template. Notice that I've already included some of the main headings for chapter 1. Again you can open up the styles menu and see that these are tagged appropriately. It's very important to make sure that all of your headings are properly tagged. Let's say for example down in chapter 2 you decided to type a new heading and instead of tagging it properly you bolded it. If you bold it rather than tagging it, it will not appear in the table of contents. So make sure each heading starts as clean body text. Highlight and strip out any inappropriate formatting by making sure that the text is clean body text and then apply the appropriate tag. Let's do another one. To clean body text again and apply the appropriate tag. Now, once you've checked all of your headings to make sure that they have been appropriately tagged, they've started as body text and you've highlighted them and applied the appropriate tag then you can scroll up to the table of contents and update the field. Notice that there's a special activation field in the table of contents. Click anywhere inside until you activate the field. Notice that it has been grayed out. That means it's ready to be updated. Again, click inside until it's activated. You do not need to manually update the table of contents. It's been designed to allow you to update quickly with a single click. And when you update, you include all of the headings that have been appropriately tagged. Notice that the table of contents includes only level zero headings, level one headings, and level two headings, not level three, four, or five. Watch what happens when we right click and select update field. Boom. Notice that all of the appropriately tagged headings have been included. The level 0 headings are aligned left, the level 1 headings are 1 quarter inch indented, and then down here in chapter 2, those level 2 headings that I added are an additional quarter inch indented. Also notice that the appropriate page numbers have been applied. All of this can happen quickly and easily if you make sure to tag headings appropriately and then you come and update the field properly using the update field click. Let me do that again for you. Click anywhere in the table of contents to make sure the entire table is activated and then right click and update field. Boom! Everything updates perfectly. You can do this periodically as you're revising your manuscript, if you finish chapter 3 or section 2 and you want to bring those in and then update the table of contents, you can do so. Let's say, for example, something inappropriate is appearing in the table of contents. What do you do? For example, there's a paragraph showing up in the table of contents. Well, what that indicates is that you have accidentally tagged that paragraph as APA 0, 1, or 2 because those are the only things that should populate in the table of contents. So look at the page number for that text and then scroll down, find it, and then highlight it and tag it as body text. That will sterilize or remove the inappropriate application of the Z APA level 0, 1, or 2 heading style tag. And then you'll be able to come back up to the table of contents and update the field. And that particular chunk of text will no longer appear in the table of contents. Sometimes appendix items get inadvertently tagged as APA level 0 or 1 or 2. Again, go down to that material and highlight that paragraph or appendix item and sterilize it as body text. That will remove the inappropriate heading tag and then you can come back up to the table of contents and easily update the field. The next time you update the table of contents after the first update, you'll be prompted to either update page numbers or update the entire table. Most often, you'll need to select that second item because you'll be wanting to include additional headings that have been added to your manuscript. And then simply click OK.